It's your girlfriend's favorite DJ. Favorite DJ. Yes. And then on the ones, ones, and, ones and twos. And check it, check it out. DJ Southern Comfort. Howdy, y'all. My name is DJ Southern Comfort. I'm with Southern Comfort Entertainment here in Central Texas. Uh, today we're going to put together a video log, which is our first video log uh, for you guys. And we're going to show you our process. What we go through prepping everything, charging everything, loading everything, and then actual video log. I've had a few requests. We've done uh, many, many events, however, we never really done a proper video log, so we're gonna try our hand at it. Uh, we've got a corporate event tomorrow in Austin, Texas. This is for TRWA. It's a country theme, country theme uh, event. That's our specialty, however, we can DJ any kind of music. So. DJ uh, for your hip hop, R&B, Latino. Uh, yes, we do speak Spanish. Hablamos español. So we can do bilingual events as well. Uh, no effort. Stay tuned. If you like, please subscribe. Or if you're on Facebook, you, you may follow us at DJ Sun, Sun and Comfort. And uh, go from there. Thank you. Okay, folks. What we have here is uh, our equipment. We have our DJ console, we have our speakers, our uh, towers for our lighting. Uh, what we usually do is we set everything up first before we go to one of our gigs a day or two before. And we test everything, we make sure everything works. There's no hiccups uh, and everything is in working order. So, follow me. This is our test table. And our test table, prep table, uh, we get our lights recharged. We get all our wireless dongles uh, for DMX recharged. We get our uh, anything that needs to be recharged, we do it here before we go, make sure everything is green, good, good to go. Once we're done doing that, then we go ahead and package everything. As you can see here, we got totes upon totes upon other totes, and bags upon bags and other bags. And we usually pack everything here and then we load it into a trailer. Now, I have my trailer inside my shop today because in typical Texas weather, Yesterday was, I believe, 76, almost 80 degrees. Today is 51 and about 25 to 30, uh, 30 mile hour winds. So we have to adjust in Texas every day or every five minutes, as they say, to the weather. So we're loading everything here tonight and get everything prepped. And then tomorrow uh, we'll get uh, on the road and go do our gig and we'll show you some footage later on about that. All right, here we are charging our dongles. Uh, this is how we carry them. We put together a little tote with some foaming. Uh, we like to protect them because uh, I wouldn't say they're fragile, but you know, they're small items and if they get bounced around a lot, they probably mess up. They're very inexpensive, about 30 bucks a piece, but you know, 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 30 bucks adds up to a lot of money. So anyways, here we are charging these things getting to make sure they're all green ready to go of course we have some rf4s we have uh, rf1s and we have some ir4s which are the new version of the rf4s and uh, these are actually smart lights and you can set them up to different channels whatnots and all the other lights you can slave them to one of these masters and uh, you can do some pretty neat stuff with them i like to use these around the room you put these in let it, let every little nick and crack and, 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 and every corner I can find, and they light up a room pretty nice. Uh, these are all from Rockville, and uh, some of them are from Booth Lighting. Uh, both of them I, I, I recommend highly. Uh, also, this is how we package our lights. Once we get them charged, we simply... Load them in our containers. So we have all our lights in one nice little package. They're protected by foam. Uh, haven't had any problems with them bouncing around and slamming into each other or breaking anything yet. So it seems to work pretty well for us. We've got another layer that goes on top of that. And I believe we, we carry about 30 lights, a combination of RF1s. IR4s and the IR4s in that tote. 
And then, of course, we carry a couple of chargers on top of it in case we've got to charge one up or not. Uh, we got this total wheels, so it's easy to move, and we stack two or three toes on top of it so we can just roll it to wherever we need to go and go from there. Uh, we also have one of them Rockville, uh, Rockville's uh, Rock Cart Pros. And let me tell you, this thing saves your back. Uh, we load it up. We usually add all these subwoofers. I'll add my subwoofers and my... Uh, my Mackie thump speakers, load them up on our uh, cart, roll them down, and get everything set up. So that's usually a, a big plus. Uh, we also have our uh, ceremony kit. And basically our ceremony kit sits in his own cart. And in the ceremony kit I have already the speaker stands. I have, uh, I usually load the tripods for the speaker speaker or two speakers if I have to if they're gonna if it's gonna require two speakers and uh, we operate this off a uh, battery the battery lasts anywhere between eight to ten hours everything is nicely packaged and condensed ready to go we just roll this anywhere we want it rolls really easy also we have our uh, Monogram equipment here. We have this uh, 10 foot tripod with the. I use everything wireless. I uh, play the monograms wirelessly through this spare phone. It goes to my projector, which is in this bag. And I can control everything from the phone. So everything is wirelessly. I can also set up this monogram system to work also on a battery if I can connect to the electricity fairly easy, and we go from there. Uh, we create and produce all our monograms. Uh, we do most of it on Photoshop. We use some of the video software to uh, edit and, and make actually small movies of the monograms so we can play them uh, seamlessly throughout the night. For those of you who are wondering, you know, what kind of equipment we have in these bags and these ceremony bags and uh, the monogram equipment and all that, uh, we're going to illustrate all that later on on a, on a series of videos uh, specific to each system. And hopefully we're going to help some of you folks out there figure out how to go about putting together your systems. Uh, we try to keep everything easy, uh, easy to set up. Uh, we have the option to go with battery mode on most of our stuff, including even my main console, and my main DJ equipment. Uh, we have a large battery with a large capacity, uh, just in case uh, connectivity is uh, not there, we can always go with battery mode and last anywhere between six to eight hours. So. That's the way we, we, we try to get things done. Here in Texas, we do a lot of weddings out in, in barns and out in the open and, and pretty much where power is not existent. So we have to get creative and, and work with batteries. Last piece of equipment I didn't show you, and this is my, my, club, my club gear. Uh, sometimes I DJ in some of the honky-tongs here around Texas. And instead of carrying all this heavy stuff that I got, I usually do it with, uh, if I can get this open, I carry this box here. Uh, this is a, ga a Games, I believe it's Games call, game box. It's made for like Nintendo and PlayStation. I bought the box itself and I converted it into a uh, DJ box where I have my uh, computer inside here, underneath this cover here. I've added an extra fan for cooling. Uh, I got a small DJ to go uh, controller. Works it works flawlessly. I got all these uh, connector connections here where I can connect the, uh, additional stuff if I have to. And I got a giant uh, screen so when I'm playing, everything is nice and clear up there. All portable, plug and play. Oh, I got the cable here where I can 
either plug it into one of my wireless re transmitters and, and plug the receiver to uh, the club's uh, system. All right, we already started uh, loading the trailer. And the way we usually start is we start with the console and the rolling ceremony kit. And we load those uh, first and towards the front of the trailer. The reason we do that is that part of the trailer does not bounce as much as the rear of the trailer. So it protects the equipment a little bit better, especially the sensitive equipment with all the electronics and whatnots on it. Also, the reason I bought this trailer is because it's a double uh, axle trailer. And these trailers do not bounce as violently as a single trailer. So if you're looking for a trailer for DJing and you got a lot of equipment, you might want to keep that in mind. Make sure you got a double axle trailer instead of a single axle. It protects the equipment a little bit from uh, all the violent shaking that goes on. Not only that, I keep an eye on everything inside the trailer. I have a wireless camera. It's located right here. Battery operated. Uh, I think it lasts anywhere between six to eight hours. So I charge it before I leave. It's already been charged. And it connects to my phone or to uh, my media display on my truck. Uh, my truck has a, uh, I have capabilities to download the app and just use my big 12-inch uh, screen to watch what's going on in my trailer. Just in case something comes loose, you know, if you hit a bump real bad, things think that tends to move around, straps, sl uh, they slip. Uh, and if you catch it in time, you can pull over and tighten it back up and not cause any damage to, or, or worse damage than what you already have. So, so far, I've knocked a wood. I haven't had any more, any, any damage. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's the way you go about it. Let's keep loading. We've loaded uh, all the speakers, the Mackie subs, 18 inch subwoofers, uh, the Mackie 15 inch speakers, and the Mackie 8 inch dumps, battery operated. We got the facade, everything strapped in, wheels are locked. We loaded all our equipment boxes. Everything is strapped, nothing moves. So far, so good. Uh, we pretty much got everything heavy loaded in there. We got our totes. We got our tires, console, ceremony kit, some more totes. We have all our speakers. And all we have left is the tripod that's gonna go here and our step stool. Okay, we got everything packed and loaded. Uh, actual time loading, if I were to record it straight through, probably about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, but you know, we take our time, there's no rush. Uh, we got everything packed, ready, ready to go. Got the trailer loaded, got the trailer hooked up. As I said before, uh, we like to leave as early as we can. We're going to be there probably about two, three hours. The event it don't start till five. So it's about an hour and a half away from where we're at in Austin, Texas. And uh, once we get there, we'll take some more footage and make sure you guys see what we, we put together. Uh, here's the trailer. Load it, ready to go. Okay. All right, folks, we arrived at the Renaissance Hotel here in Austin, Texas. We're getting ready to unload the truck. Very huge hotel. We've got a lot of moving parts, uh, so it's going to be interesting. Probably going to take us a couple hours to get everything unloaded to where we need to go because we got about probably about a quarter of a mile we need to roll everything into. Fortunately, everything is straight roll. There's no elevators, no, nothing like that. So <laughs> we'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. This is our console system. It's all custom made by yours truly. All right, we've got the system set up. We're doing a quick test. Just make sure everything is sounding good. It fills up this room incredibly good. All we got left to do is set up the lights, uh, or the wireless lights, set up some uh, uh, movers heads in the back room. And I think we're ready to party.
Stay tuned. We got left is do the wash lights effects around the room. We got about 30 wash lights, so I think that'll pretty much cover everything. Some of them go inside the totems, like most of you guys do. And some of them will go around just to give some nice ambient. Uh, music sounds great. Everything's working great. We got the monograna. So our setup is pretty much complete. All we gotta do is wait a few hours and just get the party started. Here we have already the monogram set up. We've already got the stage lights all put in. And as you walk around, we have wash lights or effects lights throughout the room. Now, these are mainly RF4s on the walls. And I use the RF1s on the totems itself. The totems don't require as many lights, I don't believe. So I use the small ones on the totems. And if I have any spare RF1s, I throw them here and there. Like I got a couple in the stage. Uh, I have some right underneath each flag. I got some down on my speakers. Those are RF1s. Now all of these are being contro uh, controlled by the new IR4. Uh, I got the IR4 from Booth Lighting, uh, the USA version of them. I believe it's Rick Webb and his guys, uh, they hooked me up. And let me tell you, all the other ones slave to the R4 flawlessly on remote mode. I've uh, been having a little bit of issue on DMX mode, uh, but we're working that with Rick, Rick Webb and his guys, so hopefully we'll get that straight. We're just getting started. Cocktail hour starts in about 30 minutes, so we got everything set. Got a little ambient music going here for the cocktail hour itself. And cocktail hour has begun. Everybody's having a good time. Just easy listening country. Good stuff. We can start in about an hour. All right, we got the cocktails done. Now we're back to the main event. We're gonna eat here for a little bit. We're gonna kick it off with some line dancing instructions, and then we're gonna do some uh, good old country dance. setting up for a venue preparing uh, you start preparing months ahead uh, you make sure you got the right music uh, and you cover all the bases with equipment you got backup equipment and uh, backup after backup after backup so the key things that I will point out is always have a backup for your uh, main computer or your laptop or whatever your your setup is set up for uh, always have backup for power Everybody believes that DJs is a lavish life, but it's not. It's a lot of work and it's hard work. Uh, but in the end, we all do it because we love the music. And that's the key thing. So thank you for watching. I'm on Facebook, uh, DJ Southern Comfort. Uh, I'm also on uh, YouTube. So if you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message. I'll put a comment on the bottom and I'll be more than happy to respond. So thanks for watching. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. You're now rocking with the hottest DJ. With, with, with. with the hottest DJ. <laughs> DJ Southern Comfort.